Puccini, Verdi, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Opera has had several champions of their respective creative movements. What has been seen as a fading art form by some has been revitalized by others. Thus we come to one of opera's newest champions, the leader of the new creative movement known as Guerrilla Opera, Jackson Xavier Undertow. What is a badger? I don't know. A marsupial? No, it doesn't have pockets. See by the sun setting in the west It's now late afternoon So won't one of you take my request Dine with me under stars and moon I got the idea for Guerrilla Opera, uh, Gur Opera, from a celestial merging of guerrilla poetry, opera, avant-garde performance art, and of course musical theater. You see, I wasn't good at any one of them until I merged the styles together. That is when the sum became better than the whole. I pitched the idea to the local theater troupe director, Ronald Weasley. He didn't really share my vision. So, what do you think? I tried to start my own troupe, but, well, no one showed up. But such is to be expected from a new emerging art form. They never understand the trailblazers. They laughed at Andy Kaufman. Having no formal training in either music or theater, Undertow had to build his art form from scratch. My name is Jackson and I'm here to say I like cornflakes in a major way. That sucks. I tried to freestyle, but I was rancid. I don't even like rap. I mean, I'm no Lionel Richie. But it wasn't until I was blurring Porgy and Bess in my Geo Metro that I decided opera was the way to go. The only problem was that opera was a little, well, formal. So I decided to strip it down and try it out on my then girlfriend. Which is a perfect example of how I had to suffer for my art. For my own good, I decided that guerrilla opera should only be performed with complete strangers. Of course, there are still a few kinks to iron out. Jesus Christ, Heather, I thought I knew you. Steve Nichols, that guy's a fucking douche! My sister dated him in high school. She said sleeping with him was like fucking a badger. Well, if you're gonna fuck badgers, you could do it by yourself, baby. I didn't do it by myself. What the fuck? Remember, fine sir, when you court this girl, that she is one great pick. And if you get lucky tonight, put a rubber on your dick. Hey, 
That's just bad theater etiquette. It was at that point that I began to look for improvisational comedy. But I'm no comedian. So I again focused on the words. If you look at things, you'll soon realize that if you are observational, the words will come to you. So I just sang about what I saw. And thus, the current version of guerrilla opera was birthed. I tried to be traditional. With few avenues to express his new art form, Undertow slipped into a deep, dark depression. How can you change the world with your unique voice if no one will listen to you? Hope was lost for Jackson Undertow, but things would soon change. Mmm, nothing says loving like me.